Hi everyone, this is Lauren Desaire. I live in Pittsburgh, North Carolina, and I am a 2D uh, mixed media artist. In my work, I usually use acrylic paint, ink, pastels, collage, painted papers, and gold metal leaf. So it's springtime outside, the flowers are blooming, there's a lot of rain, it's March as usual, and um, we're getting a lot of amphibians and um, other wildlife coming to our property. One of the things that is making itself known is called the spring peeper. I've created a little spring peeper here, and I've started to work a lot with frogs and amphibians as kind of a symbol of adaptability in my work. Frogs don't just symbolize adaptability and change, they also symbolize abundance. Because they are so adaptable um, and live in multiple environments, they are able to be abundant and thrive. In light of recent world events like the pandemic, we are being asked to be adaptable so that we may thrive. We're all staying at home a lot and um, doing some deep reflecting, at least I am, and one of the things that I've been doing is taking walks in nature and observing all of this life that is emerging from the cold winter. One of the first frogs to emerge is the spring peeper, which is nowhere near as big. I've drawn a little example of one here. Uh, they're actually quite small, and they make a very loud beeping noise kind of in the evening. They are living and breeding right now in our rice pond, which we dug so that we could grow wild rice and Carolina gold rice on our homestead. So aside from the spring peeper, I'll also be using the imagery of a dragonfly today, which is another symbol for transformation and adaptability. The dragonfly, in addition to those things, is a symbol um, that reminds us to seek deeper meaning in our um, emotions and in our lives. So I will be creating a dragonfly today as well. The first thing I do in creating my small works of art is I gesso a piece of paper or hardboard. This is um, hardboard, it's kind of like masonite. Um, I gesso both sides to prevent warping and I do that with golden gesso. The next thing I do is I create an underpainting on this side that I want to use. Um, this one is created with acrylic paint and gel medium. I do a lot of layering in my work, so that's what I'm going to get started with now.
everyone. This is the frog pond that I promised you earlier in the video. Um, I am out for a walk with my dogs. This is uh, Fritz and this is Maggie. And this is where we sit a lot of evenings and observe um, all the different frogs that are coming out right now. Um, you're also going to see in there some cattails coming up and the little things that look like grass is um, wild, uh, wild rice. And there's also Carolina gold rice coming out too. So here's the completed piece. It's got this little spring peeper carried off on a little leaf um, boat by the dragonfly across the sky. This piece is going to be called Working With What You've Got. And it's all about making the best out of the changes that we all have to go through right now. I thank you so much for joining me in my studio today, and if you would like to see this work and a lot more of my work, my website is www.laurendesser.com. Thanks for watching.